I'm excited to share this practical guide on how to delete a primary key in four popular databases, Oracle, SQL Server, MySQL, and PostgreSQL. Whether you are an SQL enthusiast like me or gearing up for your next database interview, I will walk you through each process step by step to make it easy for you to follow along. To make this even easier for you, I have added timestamps in the description below. Feel free to jump straight to the specific database you are interested in. Just click and go. Let's get started. First stop is Oracle. Here is how you can delete a primary key constraint. In Oracle, you will first need to identify the constraint name. Here is the query. This query starts with select constraint underscore name which retrieves the name of the primary key constraint. We are selecting from the user underscore constraints table, which stores all constraint details. In the where clause, table underscore name equals to your table name, limits results to your table. Constraint underscore type equals to P, filters for primary key constraints only. So this query gives you the exact name of your table's primary key constraint, essential for deleting it. Make sure to replace your underscore table underscore name with your actual table name. In our case, let's say the table name is employees underscore demo. This query will return the exact constraint name we will need to delete the primary key. Once you have the constraint names, here is the command to drop the primary key. This command starts with alter table, your table name, specifying the table where you want to make changes. Drop constraint, your constraint name. Tell SQL to remove the constraint, specifically the primary key constraint we identified earlier. Replace your table name and your constraint name with your actual table and constraint names. And this command will delete the primary key from your table. By the way, if you would like to copy these commands directly, I have got you covered. I have put together a detailed blog post on this topic with all the commands ready to go. Just check the link in the description below. Next, let's do the same in SQL Server. In SQL Server, you can find the primary key constraint by using this query. The query starts with select name, which retrieves the name of the primary key constraint. We are selecting from sys.key underscore constraints, a system table that stores all key constraints in SQL Server. In the where clause, type equals to pk, filters for primary keys only. Parent underscore object ID equals to object ID your table name. Limits results to the specified table. Make sure to replace your table name with your actual table name. So this query gives you the primary key constraint name for your table which you will need to delete it. Once you have the constraint name, use this command to drop it. Just like in Oracle, replacing the constraint name is key. And that's it, you have removed your primary key in SQL Server. Now, let's see how MySQL handles primary keys. In MySQL, primary keys are usually named automatically. If you haven't renamed it, it's often primary. But to be sure, here is a query to check. This query starts with show keys from your underscore table underscore name, which lists all keys, indexes, and constraints for the specified table. By adding where key underscore name equals to primary, we filter the results to show only the primary keys. This gives you the primary key details which you will need for further steps. To drop the primary key in MySQL, use this command. 
No need to specify a constant name here. Just run this and MySQL will drop the primary key for you. Finally, let's tackle PostgreSQL. PostgreSQL's approach is similar to Oracle's. You will first need to find the primary key constraint name with this query. This query begins with select constraint underscore name, which retrieves the name of the primary key constraint. We are querying the information underscore schema dot table underscore constraint view, which contains metadata about all table constraints in the PostgreSQL. In the where clause, table underscore name equals to your table name, specifies the table we are interested in. Constraint underscore type equals to primary key, filters for primary key constraints only. This query returns the name of the primary key constraint for your specified table essential for deletion. With the constraint name in hand, use this command to drop it. And that's all you need to do to remove a primary key in PostgreSQL. I hope you found this guide helpful in understanding how to delete primary keys in four major databases, Oracle, SQL Server, MySQL, and PostgreSQL. If you found the information practical and easy to follow, I encourage you to share it with others who might benefit from these SQL tips. Thank you for watching. This is Manish from rebellionrider.com.